guys welcome to part 3 of this tutorial so in our part 2 uh, we added our adapter and we are able to display this data in our recycle ravine so in part 3 we are going to focus on click listener so if you click an item within the recycle ravine we are going to open a new activity display the image the name and even the description of the click item so let's get started I'll begin by adding our two activities here. So the first one I'm going to say it's Apple. And the other one I'm going to open is Kiri. So remember I'm opening a specific activity depending on the click item. So for instance, when you click Apple, I'm going to open Apple activity and pass this data of the apple. Then when you click Kiwi, I'm going to open a specific activity of Kiwi with this data. So if you want to open a similar activity that is one activity, you can also do the same. So let's proceed. The next thing that I'm going to do after adding this Kiwi activity and item activity, let's go back to my adapter. And I'm going to change something here. I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to have val item model list which will be of array list and my array list will be item model so I'm going also to change this one and then I'm going to add an interface oops remove this one so that I can add it here so I'm going to have interface clicked item and within it I'm going to have a method called clicked item and this method will contain item model then within the constructor here now I'm going to have my clicked item as the within the constructor and finally I'm going to go to my own body view holder here and then I'm going to have holder dot item view dot set on click listener and then I'm going to have click I just need to access this one, click item. Let's give this one. Click item dot click item. And then I'm going to pass item model. So guys, as you can see, the first thing that I've done is adding this interface, which has this method. Then within my constructor, I've removed the item model and added my click item interface. And then within the byte view holder, I've listened to the item click. So that is holder.itemView.set on click listener, which is now this one. And when I click, I'm going to pass the data to my click item. Back to my main activity, I'm going to implement item adapter dot clicked item and then I'm going to implement the activity here and so let's change this one so I'm going to have val item model which will be now my item model item model let's call this one one and then I'm going to log dot e. I'm going to have tag. Let's see which data was passed. Plus item model one dot name. So as you can see here, I'm going to pass this. And now I'm going to add item model item adapter dot set data. This is where now I'm going to pass 
item model list. Let's see. Let's check whether this one is empty. Let's learn and see what we have. So the app is installing. So there we are. We expect when we click, we are able to log the name of the click item. So when I click, we have apple, we have oranges, we have bananas, kiwi, and we have melon. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to open activity depending on the click item. So I'm going to have one name which will be item mode one dot name so i'm going to have when it's a switch statement and i'm going to switch the name and when the name is apple i'm going to start activity intent And I'm going to move from main activity VZ main activity and I'm going to go to Apple activity class and then I'm going to put extras my data which is now my item mode one Then I'm going also to check if it's queuing. So I've checked that if the name is Apple, I'm going to open the Apple activity if it's queuing. I'm going to start another activity, intent. Then I'm going to move from this main activity. And I'm going to go to Kiwi activity class and then I'm going to put extras and I'm going to have data and I'm going to pass it as item model one finally I'm going to have else so if you don't click uh, Apple or Kiwi then we are going to get dot make text and then I'm going to have is at main activity the message is no action and then I'm going to have toast dot length long and then I'm going to have show sure. So we are going to learn and see if we are able to open the new activity when we click Apple or the queue. So let's try. And there we are. There we are. If I click this one, no action and no action. So the next thing I'm going to do is display the data of the apple to the apple activity and the same as key so i'm going to go to activity apple here i'm going to have image view i'm going to give it 100 deep height i'm going to give it 100 and the id i'm going to give it is image view I'm going to give it a constraint that is top top of palette, bottom bottom of palette, start start of palette, and even end end of palette. Then below it, we are going to have a text view. And then I'm going to love content, love content. I'm going to have start start of palette, end end of palette. And then I'm going to have so we have start start of palette, we have end end of palette, and we have top should be the bottom 
of imaging. So let's have a placeholder that is text, Apple. In this one, I'm going to have sources launcher. Let's change this one size to be 16. And the color I'm going to give it is black. So I'm going to have top margin of 10. So we have the ID. I'm going to have TV name. So have this one, TV name, and have image view. So I'm going to have, remember that I'm passing here, value, item model, item model, which is none for now. And then I'm going to populate it here. So I'm going to have item model will be intent dot get serializable extra data. And then I'm going to have it as item model. So we have uh, our image view. So I'm going to have image view. So remember the image view should be from activity Apple. Check what you have import. So it's from activity Apple dot set image resource and then have item model dot image. You need to check this one. Null save. And then we have TV name from Apple this one dot text. And then it will be item model dot name. You can also display the description, but for now we are going to display the name and the image. So I'm going to copy this one. And paste it in our QE activity. And here I'm going to have val item model of item model. And our item model will be intent dot get serializable extra that is data. Then I'm going to have let's cast it as item model. Then I'm going to have my image view. Remember now the image view is from activity queue dot set image resource item model dot image and finally we have tv name also from kiwi dot text will be item model dot name so let's learn our app again Oops. The app is installing, so let's wait. It's launching now. So if I click Apple, there we are. We have passed the Apple data, and within the Apple activity, we are able to display the image and even the name. Let's see for Kiwi. There we are. For Banana, now activity to open. So you can add activity for banana, the oranges, and the melon. Let me know if you succeed in the description. So the other, uh, so we are, we are done with part three of the tutorial. And finally, we are going to part four of tutorial. So we have passed the data, we have opened, and we have even added on click listener. So for part four, we are going to add search filter, and then we are going to filter, and even when we filter, we are going also to listen to the item click. So guys, stay tuned for part four 